Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys, another Smurfs Micro Village review for you. This is the Handy and Clockwork Neighbor Pack. Now see again, this is just Handy and Clockwork, two names, not Handy Smurf and Clockwork. Although I guess Papa Smurf is his full proper name, I don't know. In any case, we get some pretty neat uh, new interesting pieces here for the most part. Um, these two houses are pretty unique. They love this Smurfberry Bush corner piece, so we're going to get another one of those. And then we get this opening bridge piece, which is pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that's neat is Handy, obviously, is some kind of handyman, tinkerer, uh, all-around builder of some kind. Uh, this guy, Clockwork, appears to be made of wood, or at least parts of them are, so we'll explore that more as we open this up. Um... Keeping the, keeping the theme of advertising yourself on your own packaging. Keeping that strong. Uh, and then you get Smurfette and Smurf over here. Another random picture of possible combinations. So you got that going. Yeah, pretty basic packaging. But as you can see, originally was $14.99 for the two-pack. Got it on clearance. Pretty much it for the packaging. So we'll go ahead, pop it open, and we'll take a closer look. So here's the set out of the packaging. We'll take a quick look at the two figures. I really like Handy. He's got little overalls. Uh, he has a pencil behind his ear. He's got a little builder's hammer. I like that guy a lot. Uh, now he also has waist articulation, but it kind of looks like it's a little uh, coming apart. The, the hammer in the way is kind of a bit of a problem, but also his Smurf hat has a brim, which most don't. So I think that's a lot of fun. I like this figure a lot. Uh, as far as this guy goes, you can see his ears are kind of, uh, made of rivets or something, and his nose is a piece of wood, and his feet are logs of wood, so I'm wondering if this is some kind of Smurf construct? Like he built a little helper or something, or was it a Smurf that, like, got messed up and had parts replaced with wood? I'm not really sure what's going on. Again, it's been a long time since I've seen the Smurfs. But I love the design of this guy. I'm assuming it's just some kind of Smurf companion that this guy built for himself. Because uh, you can see he's a little bigger than your average Smurf. So, I just think that's awesome. If it's just like a Smurf android or like a Smurf robot to just hang out with him, that's awesome. I love both of these minifigures so much. Um, putting them off to the side, this is the clockwork. Again, Smurfberry Bush connector piece. They love using this one. So there's that. Uh, typical house, but at least we get some new color schemes. We have this purple and orange, which is pretty cool. Door opens as usual. A little rug, very typical there as well. These are pretty cool, though. You get a little rock piece. We saw that with Papa Smurf. Nothing too exciting there. You have this bridge, which can open up to let a boat through, which is pretty cool. I think there is a set that has, like, a pirate raft. I don't have that one, though. Um, but very cool. Very neat. I like that a lot. The bridge fits together pretty well. It's a pretty cool little piece. I like that a lot. Uh, and I think this is pretty cool. This is, I don't know if this is supposed to be like his workshop. It would have been cool maybe. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Even just some little stickers or something on the inside to personalize it to that Smurf. You know, like Smurf I could have like a mirror or something or, or a, a dresser or he could have, like, a little uh, desk or something. You know what I mean? Just some kind of sticker. I understand you can't put molded pieces in there, but something like that would have been neat. Uh, but he's got kind of a little wince and pulley system here going. Now, I don't think this moves at all. No, it's not supposed to. And then he's got this uh, shed on the side that's literally just got planks of wood, I guess, so he can build stuff. Door opens. He's got a square door. And I just love the color scheme. I think the light... And darker blue work well. So I like this one a lot. I think this is a really cool set. I love the mini, the little figures that it comes with. I like the design of this house. Um, let's see. What do we want to do? See, we're kind of limited because if we put the house here, he's going to have water running into his basement. And he doesn't want that. So maybe we'll put it like this. Put them next to each other. Something like that. But it's a very cool little set. I don't want to say it's my favorite. I don't know if that's true. But I definitely like it a lot. I like this house. I think the bridge is cool. And I love the two figures you get in this set. So, very neat. I like this one a lot. Um, yeah, so this has been the Handy and Clockwork Neighbor Pack. 
Definitely one of my favorites from the line so far. I don't know if these are available anywhere anymore. I mean, eBay, Amazon, yard sales, things like that. That's probably where you're going to find them. <laughs> if you have a store near you that has really old stuff, maybe like a farmer's market or a something like that. I don't know. But in any case, if you were going to pick up a set, I think this is one of the more fun ones. I just personally like it. Uh, yeah. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Handy and Clockwork Neighbor Pack. Very cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, as always, thanks so much for watching.